Good morning, greetings, friends, and welcome to The Bright Side, your nutritional program dedicated to the understanding of the vast world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. I'm your host, Pharmacist Ben. Nutritional pharmacist from Boulder, Colorado. I use nutritional supplements where other healthcare practitioners use toxic pharmaceutical drugs and sometimes deadly medical procedures. If you suspect that there are natural nutritional roads to your health and vitality and well-being and to addressing your health challenges, whatever they may be, but you don't know where to begin, you have come to the right place. As you listen to The Bright Side every day, you are more and more in control of your body, you are more and more knowledgeable, and you know you can overcome any health challenge. That is why we are here every day on The Bright Side, helping clear up the sometimes confusing world of nutrition and nutritional supplementation. Over the last 31 years of practicing pharmacy, I have seen drug-free recoveries from diabetes, hypertension, obesity, skin diseases like acne, psoriasis, eczema, rosacea, digestive ailments, autoimmune issues of all kinds, recoveries that by the standards of modern medicine can only be called a miracle, but what is in the world of the body, what is in the world of biology, standard operating procedure. Because the human biological system is a healing system, it's a regenerating system, it is designed divinely to heal and renew itself on a moment-to-moment -moment basis. And while some folks may call that healing, renewing, regenerating system a miracle, it really is just the way the body works. If you have questions about health, nutrition, prescription drugs, if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, we are here for you. Give us a call at 844-236-6010, 844-236-6010. If you have questions about anything we're speaking about here today, the longevity products, formulations, ingredients, something you may have heard about, read about, or you want clarification on, or if you want to wean yourself off your meds and get on a good nutritional supplement program, 844-236-6010 is our number today on the bright side, 844-236-6010, and we do have lines open for you. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended on the Bright Side, please go to my websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. We've got blog stories, blog posts, news stories, videos, and all the longevity products at all our websites. You can also sign up to join the Bright Side Ben team off our website as well, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. You can also Call 866-735-2470 if you want to speak to a real live human being, 866-735-2470. Ask them about joining the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You could start a longevity business if you've experienced the benefits of nutritional supplementation in your life or in your loved one's life. If you've seen your blood pressure drop and weight, weight loss, uh, uh, the pounds drop off. If you've gotten off your meds by getting on a supplement program, pay it forward. Help other folks. And while you're helping other folks, you can make some money, too. It's a win-win kind of business. Everybody benefits. Call 866-735-2470 for more info, or you can sign up right off our websites, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And also would like to remind you to check out our truth treatment products at truthtreatments.com, truth retinol, 5% gel, truth omega-6 healing cream, truth... Transdermal C Balm and our award-winning Truth Transdermal C Serum voted one of the top 150 products in the world by Harper's Bazaar magazine. And coming up very soon, in the next um, couple of weeks or so, our Biomimetic Priming Mist, which make, is uh, made with fulvic minerals. And they are really cool fulvic minerals. They're like plant-derived minerals. They are plant-derived minerals, fulvic acids, fulvic minerals have some really, really neat effects on the skin, especially when it comes to anti-irritancy. They're electrical. They're highly electrical. They help other actives. They enhance the activity of other active material like vitamin C and retinol. And our biomimetic priming mist should be ready to go sometime uh, in the next month or so. Also, not only fulvic minerals, but you also get hyaluronic acid and you'll get sodium lactate and amino acids. And uh, of course, no preservatives, fragrances, fillers, waxes, emulsifiers, surfactants, silicon oil, nothing your skin doesn't need or doesn't want in any of our truth treatment products, including our new truth biomimetic priming mist. Speaking of the skin, we are talking skin beauty and health and attractiveness. And, and by the way, health is attractiveness. They are connected. Health is beauty. That's the one thing I've learned as a healthcare professional slash skincare professional is that health is beauty. There is no beauty without health. Put, trying to be beautiful without being healthy in terms of your skin or really in terms of your body is putting the cart before the horse. doesn't work. 
That's why we're not healthy. When it, or our skin is not healthy when it comes to taking care of our skin for the most part. Most, for the most part, the things we do to make our skin beautiful don't make our skin healthy. In fact, many of those things prevent our skin from being healthy. Keeping skin healthy and beautiful is a function of the same thing that it takes to keep the body healthy and beautiful, physically speaking, of course. Exer, rest, and nutrition. Exercise, rest, and nutrition. Exer, rest, and nutrition. Exer, rest is made up of exercise and rest. So exer, rest, I call it exer, rest, but they, it's like yang and yin. It's like the yin, yin, yang, yang, yin circle. It's like one circle with two phases. Same idea. Exer, rest. You got to exercise. You got to rest. If you're going to, if you're going to take advantage of the power of exercise, you got to rest. And resting without exercise, well, that uh, that's very counterproductive. A lot of us do that. Resting without exercise. Rest is important, but within a context of exercise and at the same time, you want to leverage the power of nutrition. Exorrest and nutrition. Stimulation. Exorrest is like stimulation. Exercise is like stimulation, I should say. We all know exercise is important. We hear about it all the time. What we don't hear about it, it all, all the time, though, is exercising the skin. How you can exercise your skin topically. That's what we've been talking about for the last couple of days. I've been talking about it for decades. How you exercise the skin. I remember I wanted to have little gym bags with my ex, with my topical products. No, everybody thought that was silly. I was going to sell little tiny gym bags with with alpha hydroxy acid products in there, and and uh, nobody understood. I remember this was about going 15 years ago. It was like it, it, it was like you know talking into the wind. Nobody understood the idea that you can exercise your skin. Well, you can. Exercising the skin and the muscles in the body are all types of wounding, controlled wounding. And on the skin, there's lots of ways that you can achieve this exer- or get the exercise benefits from uh, controlled wounding. You could do it with a washcloth. A washcloth will controlled wound your skin. And if you use a washcloth enough daily, you will do wonderful things for anti-aging the skin. A simple washcloth. Because of this idea of disrupting and mildly or controlled trauma, mild or controlled trauma for the skin surface. A dry brush can do it. When men shave, they do it. That's one of the reasons why men have, tend to have better skin as they age than women do. Men shave. I have a friend who's a, uh, he's a makeup artist. He tells his women, he tells women to shave. I, I don't know if I'd go that far, but I was just talking to him yesterday. He says, yeah, I tell, I tell all my lady women clients to shave. A dry brush does it. A microdermabrasion machine, that's where they shoot little crystals, little aluminum crystals at your skin. Estheticians know about it. They, these days they can use laser to do it. These are all mechanisms and tools for achieving controlled wounding. Controlled wounding to stimulate growth. In the old days, and by the old days I mean like the, maybe the late 19th century, they did some serious wounding on the skin. In fact, even today they'll do some serious wounding on the skin in order to drive the production of collagen. And for the most part, if you do it correctly, I'm not talking mild wounding. I'm talking like when you got bandages on for a week kind of wounding. They used to use something called phenol. They don't do that as, as much anymore. Phenol is really nasty stuff, by the way. In the name of beauty, we do all kinds of things, though. And they would do phenol peels, and you'd, have two, you'd be wrapped up in bandages for two weeks... And then when the, when the skin healed, you'd have beautiful, soft skin. The first people to do it were actually uh, actresses at the turn of the 20th century, Broadway stars. Uh, those were the movie stars of the day. And they were the first people to, to really get into the idea of using uh, these really serious peels, deep peels, they call them. These days, you can get deep peels done at a doctor's office. They don't use phenol as much. Sometimes they'll use something called croton oil, which is a really, really caustic oil, a vegetable oil. And then uh, sometimes they'll use something called TCA, trichloroacetic acid. But you don't need to really wound the skin that dramatically in order to get exercise benefits. In fact, you don't really even need to wound the skin at all. If you simply drop the pH, we talked about pH last week, if you just drop the pH of the skin, you will have this kind of stimulatory effect, this hormesis effect. This uh, idea that a little bit of stress on the skin stimulates growth doesn't have to go as extreme as wounding. You could just use something acidic. All right, I'm Pharmacist Benny. 442-366-6010 is our number. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. Okay, we are 
back on the bright side. Thanks for joining us. We are on the air Monday through Friday, 8 to 9 Pacific, 10 to 11 Central Time, 24-7 on the archive pages at brightsideben.com and benfuchsarchives.com. Thank you to Peter in the UK for setting up benfuchsarchives.com. It's a really neat website. It has all my other websites all under one roof. I think I have six different websites, and they're all up at uh, benfuchsarchives.com. You can purchase longevity products at brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, and criticalhealthnews.com, or you can call the, uh, uh, call the Brightside Ben phone team at 866-735-2470, 866-735-2470. For more info, ask them about joining the Brightside Ben team for a one-time $25 fee. You can join the team. Make some money, help spread the word about the power and importance of a good nutritional supplement program, help change the world at the really what I consider to be the most fundamental level of livingness, and that is human health, our health. If you're not healthy, nothing else matters. And there's nothing more important than getting on a, than for your health, and getting on a good nutritional supplement program. Okay, so there's lots of ways to stimulate the skin. You can use microderm, you can use lasers, you can use microderm abrasion, that is, where you shoot little crystals at the skin, dry brushing, washcloth, shaving. I like to use acids. That's my favorite way to do it. And you don't need a lot of it either. Although there are uh, procedures you can get that are pretty intense, low, low, low pH and very high concentration, things like TCA, for example, trichloroacetic acid, Nasty stuff. Jesner's peels. You may have heard of Jesner's peels. Again, nasty stuff. These things use things like resorcinol, which is a really unpleasant chemical. Trichloroacetic acid has is a chlorinated vinegar. Trichloroacetic acid is vinegar with chlorine, basically. It has chlorine. Not good for the skin. Although it will peel you. I will say that. But there's a, a substance that's found in nature that's acidic. Nature's filled with all kinds of acidic material that aren't really super powerful acids necessarily, but just mildly acidic. And you don't need super powerful acids to get this hormesis effect, this stimulating effect. Just tickling the skin, tickling skin cells with a low pH, just dropping the pH a bit, just a little bit. The pH of the skin is around 4-ish, something like that, 4.5 to 5.5, let's say 4 or 5-ish. If you drop the pH down to 3-ish, 2-ish even, between 2 and 3, you can get some really, really nice stimulating benefits, long-term anti-aging benefits. And I highly recommend you do it. And I've, I created a, a company that was based in, in products that allow people to do this. I sold it a couple years ago, and now uh, the truth is going to be doing the same thing. Using products that have low pH periodically, intermittently, regularly, over the course of the days and the weeks and the months and the years will allow your skin to, will stimulate your skin to produce more connective tissue in the same way that going to the gym every day, or not every day, but going to the gym regularly over the course of the days and the weeks and the months and the years will keep your body toned. Same mechanism is at, in place. And the idea of not going crazy with it, with a TCA peel or a, or a phenol peel or a croton oil peel, not going absolutely nuts with it where you got bandages on for uh, two weeks, although, you know, I, in fairness, you get, sometimes it works really well, those, those kinds of intense treatments, but you don't need them. Keeping the skin healthy over the course of time by using alpha hydroxy acid cleansers, by using alpha hydroxy acid toners, by using, and by alpha hydroxy acids, I'm referring to these acids that are found in nature. They're called alpha hydroxy acids, AHAs. And they're found pretty much everywhere. They're found in your skin, for that matter. They're found in your body. You can't make energy. Cells can't produce energy without alpha hydroxy acids. They're just this fundamental molecule that is found in nature everywhere. Every cell is using alpha hydroxy acids. But if you take those same alpha hydroxy acids, which are found in red wine and apple juice and pear juice and citrus products and vinegar, you use these alpha hydroxy acids, and yes, you can use vinegar, absolutely. Apple cider vinegar, for that matter, has got wonderful minerals in there. Um, if you use these alpha hydroxy acids, you won't get a really intense peel, but you'll just kind of tickle the cell a little bit. You'll tickle the cell to release the, uh, its growth factors. 
its growth factors are called cytokines. And, and these cytokines are usually or, or typically released when a cell is wounded, but you don't need to wound the cell to get a little cytokine buzz to get those cytokines out there. Cytokines mean cell moving, and it kind of stimulates dynamism, causes cell movement. So you tickle the cells with a low pH, with, uh, with something slightly acidic, and that's kind of like, a, uh, just like a feather sort of tickles a cell, and the cell releases these cytokines, and the cytokines are signals that say, hey, we got some stress going on here. We need some support. Too much stress will kill the cell, and that's where you get your, your uh, two-week two downtime is from killing the cell, but just the right amount of stress. You turn on with a drop in the, drop in the pH just a hair from 4 to 3, say, or from 4 to 2, you get a cytokine release, you don't kill the cells, and you get all the benefits of exercise, of exercising your skin. That means more skin cells, that means more moisture factors, that means more collagen, that means more connective tissue, that means younger skin, that means more beautiful taut skin, that means moisture skin. And by the way, that's how you moisturize your skin. In fact, I hate that word moisturizer. There ain't no such thing as a moisturizer. It doesn't exist. If, there, if it did exist, it would be water because that's moisture. But we know that you can't moisturize your skin with water. In fact, water will make your skin, will really throw off your skin's chemistry if you do too much of it. And it can actually make your skin drier, as, as you know, if you've you know, stayed in the bath too long. Your skin comes out. It's not moist. It's dry. So there ain't no moisturizer. What people think of as a moisturizer is really a softener. We don't, have, we don't feel our dry skin. We feel our hard skin. What we call dry skin, when we say, oh, my skin is really dry, what we really mean is our skin is really hard because the surface of the skin absorbs water and softens. And that's why we can use greasy, oily, waxy stuff on top of our skin and think we're moisturized. No, what we've done is we've softened the stratum corneum, which has been, was hard because it didn't get the right hydration from the bottom up. Hydration in the skin... Water in the skin is a bottom-up phenomena. It's a phenomena of biochemistry. It's not a mechanical phenomenon. You're not going to correct it with a cream or a lotion. Creams or lotions will soften the skin, but you know what? Anything will soften the skin. You can use corn oil in your skin. That will soften your skin. You could use butter on your skin. You could use coconut oil on your skin. If you really want to soften your skin, that's what you should be using, not some witch's brew of emulsifiers and preservatives and fragrances and veg uh, uh, processed vegetable oils and all the other crap that's in your so-called moisturizer. On the other hand, when you tickle your skin cells with an alpha hydroxy acid, they release cytokines. Guess what happens? You make more moisture factors. You get healthier skin that can transport moisture. That's another thing. This moisture has to be transported to the skin surface from the bottom. And that transportation requires healthy biochemistry, healthy uh, chemistry that, uh, biochemistry that can be made healthier by using acids, by using alpha hydroxy acids, by tickling your skin cells. Nobody tells us these things. And that's why we spend billions of dollars every year on, quote, moisturizers, unquote, and everybody's got dry skin. All right, 844-236-6010 is our number. I'm Pharmacist Ben. You're listening to The Bright Side. We'll be back right after this. are back on the bright side. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you have questions about the longevity products, the longevity business, health challenges you or a loved one may be dealing with, we can help you. 844-236-6010 is our number. If you want to purchase any of the longevity products you hear advertised or recommended, please go to brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. Purchase your favorite longevity products right off our websites or sign up to join the Brightside Ben team off our website as well, brightsideben.com, pharmacistben.com, or criticalhealthnews.com. And please check out our Truth Skin Health products at truthtreatments.com, truthtreatments.com. Okay, let's, uh, I think I'm going to go to the phones a little early today, try to get to as many calls as possible. Let's go to... Steve, who's been holding on our whole program. Let me see if I get to Steve. Steve. We have Steve. Yes. Steve in California. What's up, Steve? How you doing, buddy? 
I'm doing delightful. So, uh, let's see. First thing, I called Wallach last week and uh, on osteoarthritis. So, he's got me on two healthy brain and heart packs a month, three bottles of liquid glucogels, three bottles of vitamin D3, and three MSMs. Now, when I went to my, and he didn't know anything about my kidney stones. So he's got wait, 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 hang on, hang on, hang on. Doc did not know about your kidney stones? You didn't tell him about the kidney I stones? I did not tell, right. I did not oh. tell him. Okay. So you're, you're, now, all of a sudden, they're connected. Get... They're all connected. But, but then supplements are, you're not going to get kidney stones from the supplements. Your kidney stones are caused because of basically your body's falling apart is why you get kidney stones. But if the, the technical reason, if you want to know the technical reason is, is calcium is not being handled by the cells as effectively and it's clogging up the blood. So you're not processing ca calcium correctly, and that, all, that has to do with a lot of things. So it's not a question of taking supplements. I, and I've got to emphasize this because I know we've got a lot of new listeners. Getting healthier is not a question of what supplement do I take to get healthier. It doesn't work that way. Supplements supplement. They're added to. Like when you supplement your income, you know, when you're supplementing your income, that's not your income. You're supplementing your income. You follow me? Got it. So you, yes, you I got, understand that. Okay. I'm, you got to supplement your diet and you got to supplement your lifestyle. So if you got kidney stones and arthritis, and I don't mean to be harsh, Steve, but you know, we're all friends here and I'm just going to level with you. <laughs> I'm going to give you the truth. I'm just, I like, I like to be honest here. You're falling apart, bro. All right. So now, but that's, but there's good news. There's good news. We can fix it. There's good news. I'm drinking water three quarts because I never drank water in my life. Well, now you got to be careful. Four years that, old. That's good. Keep drinking the water, but now you got to make sure you're replacing your B vitamins and your electrolytes, including calcium, which is an electrolyte. Uh, you got to make sure you're replacing your nutrients. All right. So get on the. If you're going to drink a lot of water, and I love that. That's great. Water is really important. Make sure it's good, clean water, though, not tap water. And then uh, make sure you're using some Beyond Tangy Tangerine throughout the day. All right, because you got to make sure you're replacing your electrolytes. Go ahead. I'm sorry. So I can't do that because vitamin C, right here in this tangy, it says 1,250 milligrams, which is 2,083% of the daily. Right, I'm not going to tell you what to do. I'm not going to tell you okay. what to do because it's your business. You're an adult. I'm a, you know, I never like right. to tell people what to do. You're right. crazy if you don't take the BTT without, because of the vitamin C. You need extra vitamin C. You need mega doses of vitamin C. But again, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm okay. just telling you, in my opinion, you're crazy. That's, a, that's completely crazy to do okay. that to yourself. All right? Okay. But I, I don't want to be in a position of saying, hey, you do this and do that. I don't like doing that. No, no, you're an no. adult. I, I hear okay? You. Okay, you need vitamin C more than most people do. So, okay. so, I'd be, so anyway, sip on the BTT. You might also want to do lots of vegetable juices. All right? Vegetable juices, will do, they'll help your body process calcium, number one, and they'll also help uh, uh, flush out excess calcium. If you're not using the calcium, at least it'll help flush some of it out, and you'll get magnesium in the vegetables, which helps balance out calcium. Make sure you're using vitamin K also. And then I would be more concerned why at the age of 64 you're starting to break down like this. So go back to the basics, the triangle of disease. All right? When you're hypothyroid, you're not going to process calcium. Hypothyroidism and kidney stones go hand in hand. Hypothyroidism and uh, arthritis go hand in hand. So more than likely you're hypothyroid, which follows excess amounts of cortisol, stress hormones. So lighten up, relax, deep breathe. Do, uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? All right. So you're laughing. So you must, I must have hit a nerve there. All right. 100 miles an hour. All right. All right. Relax. You know, meditate. Chill. You know, all that stuff. I'm not, you know, this is part of being healthy. That's no, why I, I say it's not. I hear you, but I, it's that's really why I say it's me. not just. Well, you do what you want. Again, you do what you want to do. I'm telling you, these are strategies that you can choose or not to employ or, or not or choose to not employ. Whatever you want to do. The next thing is uh, stabilize your blood sugar. Lay off of anything that spikes your blood sugar. Keep it nice and even keel. That means bread, pasta, potatoes, rice. And I don't say zero tolerance, but the less you do, the better off you're going to be. And then also the sweeties and chrome, uh, and uh, uh, the ultimate niacin in addition to the chromium and vanadium. And then work on the digestive system. Always, always, always. If you want to do one thing, focus on digestive health. Uh, there's a very important relationship, by the way, between how the kidney works and, and the intestine, how the intestine works, and the link is probiotics. So making sure you're getting on a good probiotic supplement can be very healthy, the, uh, very important. The nightly essence is good. Uh, and then also, uh, uh, as I was saying earlier with the vegetables, fiber can help drip, pull out excess calcium and also can uh, help reestablish a healthy gut uh, environment for gut flora to exist in. There's tons of stuff you could do, tons, tons, tons. But it's not a question of just how do I take care of this specific problem. It's a question of working on the body as a system. All right, Steve. 
Okay. Good wait, to talk to you. Wait, wait. What More? about wheatgrass? Wheatgrass. Awesome. One of, na- one of the best foods you could, a human being could ever ingest, the in my opinion. said no wheatgrass ever. <laughs> really? Okay. Yeah. Well, I, you know, sometimes me and Doc disagree. We'll leave it at that. I don't know why. Fair enough, but what about olive oil? What do you think uh, about olive oil? Olive oil is a, t- a little different. You know, you got to be careful with oils. Oils are unstable, and in, nat- in, uh, in nutrition, when something's unstable, it's, it's, a tri- it's tricky to work with. Now, olive oil is not quite as bad as some of the other vegetable oils, uh, but you've got to be careful with oils. I personally think that they have a place, uh, and this is another place where Doc and I disagree. I think they have a role to play in health, but you just got to be really, really careful with them. They got to be fresh. They got to be kept in a dark bottle. You don't want to heat them. Uh, you want to keep them in the refrigerator. Uh, you want to use it quickly. You just got to be really respectful of oils. It, okay, so I can see his point there. In the refrigerator is what you're yeah, saying? All oils. All oils should be all kept oil. in the fridge. I, that kind of, you know, when something's warmer, it has more taste to it. So co- when something's cold, it has less taste. Uh, that's why you'll see it. Usually people keep it out of the fridge, but that degrades it further. You just got to be really, 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 really careful with oils. But I think the nutritional value is there's enough nutritional value there to make it worth it. Okay, and then one, right. one last butter. My buddy's eating a stick of butter that carries gold a day. What's up with that? Uh, the carries gold butter? Yeah, a stick I love that a stuff. Day. I, 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 I don't know about a stick a day? a day. That's quite a bit. You know what? Um, it's not if he's going ketogenic and he's not he's keeping his calories low. It's probably not as bad as it sounds. You know, going extreme on anything like that is a little much. I, I do have to say I love that Kerry's Gold Butter, though. You know, okay. I, I, he, but, uh, he, he doesn't do it. He doesn't, like, eat the myself. stick. He doesn't crunch on the stick like it's a carrot, does he? No. He, he puts no. it on bread. No. He, he probably puts it on other things, right? And he just right, goes through. A stick, a stick that's a quite a bit. Quite that's, excessive to me. Yeah, no, that's quite a bit. How's he doing, you know? I'm, I'm not going to judge it. Uh, it depends he's on how overweight. He's so, well, he uh, could probably he could probably do it with half a stick, maybe or a quarter stick. Okay, beautiful. Thank you very much for your hey, time. Help other people. Thank you. Take care, buddy. Thank you. Good All to right, talk bye-bye. to you. All right, I'm pharmacist Ben. We'll take a commercial break and we'll finish up with our phone calls when we come back. So please stay on hold if you're on hold. I'm gonna try to get everybody today. Eight four four two three six sixty ten is our number. We'll be back right after this. Right side, 844-236-6010 is our number. Good morning, Joe in Tennessee. What's going on, buddy? Hey, pharmacist Ben. How are you doing? I'm doing good. Good good to talk to you. How can we help? Okay. I uh, have two questions. One is, I've heard over time, well, let me back up. I take uh, quite a few different supplements. And as you say, that just supplements your... Uh, what you're already doing or whatever, but uh, I take quite a few, and I was wondering if there's any problems with taking certain supplements with other supplements. There are certain ones you should take separately or how? Yeah, how that's like advanced information. It's like for most people that doesn't matter. That's true that there's certain things that enhance other things. Vitamin C and iron enhance each other, or vitamin C enhances iron, for example. But if for the most part, that's not an issue. Make sure you take your B-complex all together. If you're in a supplement with like B5, for example, if you have oily skin or B6, if you have an inflammatory problem, for example, you want to make sure you're taking your B vitamins as a complex. So if you take one, you want to take all of them together. But other than that, uh, for most for the most of us, that doesn't make much of a difference. Okay. All right. Well, I take them all together, and I take them with my enzymes, and I haven't really had a... I haven't really noticed the problem, but I said, well, I should just ask because I've been listening to your show off and on for a long time, and hey, I really appreciate it. You do a good job. Oh, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Anything else you got going on? Uh, Yeah. On the skin products, uh, like I told you last time I talked to you or some time ago, maybe a year ago, I was interested in the skin products. I'm a Mennonite, and we don't use the Internet. And I was oh. wondering if you came up with a phone number. Well, yeah, call, call us on the, there's a fo- there's a yeah 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 call there's a why don't you do this why don't you send an email to the Truth Treatments website uh, Truth Treatments at Gmail Truth dot Treatments oh you don't use the internet what am I talking about you that's can't right, do that that's right okay uh, hang you know what there is a phone number you can call but I just don't happen to know it off the top of my head um, 
So, uh, you know what I'll do? I'll do you listen? You don't? You're gonna listen tomorrow? I'll get uh, the phone yeah, I'll try to mm -hmm. I don't know it off the top of my head. You know what? You just keep listening tonight to, uh, to today, and I will okay. get the phone number out before we before we leave. I'll get the phone number out. Call that phone number, okay? Uh, oh, yeah, and then sounds we'll, great. And I'll get it out to you. Okay, buddy. Thank you so much. All right, Joe. Okay, take care, have man. A good day. You too, man. Thanks. Take care. All right, let's go to Jose in Washington. Good morning, Jose. Good morning, Ben. It's nice to talk to you. Yeah, nice to talk to you as well. What's going on? Yeah, Ken told me about you, and he told me that you can help me with my playlists uh, down who, who, to zero. Who told you? Uh, who told you? Who's Ken? I don't know who that is. Ken from Spokane, Washington. Oh, I don't know who necessarily uh, who Ken is. Um, I can't remember his last name, but he's a very, very nice man. He's listening okay. to you right now. <laughs> is okay, good. Is is he? Uh, are you in longevity? Are you doing longevity? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. All right. So uh, yeah. you you have zero? Did you say zero playlists? Yes, zero playlists for about two yeah, months. Some, uh, no, it uh, can't be zero. But did they talk talk to you about your spleen? Yes, they, they they removed my spleen. I have ah, well, there you go. They they remove your spleen because you had the low platelets. Yes. Okay, so they thought so it was being been working. Yeah, they probably that's one of the theories is that it's uh, it's a uh, a spleen problem if the platelets get trapped in the spleen. So they do a splenectomy, which kind of sucks because now you don't have a spleen, and they didn't even solve the problem. So here's the issue: something is either killing your platelets or you're not making enough platelets. That's the, that's, those are the two, only two, th say again? Well, the, the, uh, the doctor says is that something has been killing my playlist. Yes, oh, something's killing your playlist. Well, he says that, but we don't necessarily know that. Increased breakdown of the playlist can occur, uh, like if you have some kind of an immune problem. So, but here's the bottom line. What else is going on, Jose? You must have some other health issues. It does not, yes. does not just occur in the middle of nowhere. Good. So yes, here's a here's I, I, healing. Let me just say this real quick, Jose. Healing principle number one: where your problem is is not where your problem begins. So you, you ha may notice it at the level of playlists, but something else has got to be going on. How's your? How, you have a history of digestive health issues. That's the first thing I always look at. Uh, <laughs> no, no, How, no, not that I know it. Well, the, listen, you got to look for them. You got to keep your eyes open. They don't just jump right out at you. Look for them. That's what the first okay. thing you're going to want to correct. Okay? Are you on any drugs? Uh, no. Okay. Oh yes, you... it is from from the from the from the playlist. Yes. Okay. No. Yes, Were you on any drugs? Something. Have you been on any drugs for a long period of time? Antibiotics. No. No. Uh, anti. Anything. No. Anti. Okay. So we'll rule out medications. I'm guessing that you got something going wrong either with the kidney or with the circulatory system or both. So that's kidney. Yeah, kidney or circulatory. It could be both. So uh, something's going on in the kidneys part of the circulatory system. We'll just say circulation. Something is going on in your circulatory system. And usually okay. that means a digestive problem because that's the main way things get into circulation. It could have to do with nutritional deficiencies. It could have to do with a lot of things. But you're not going to treat it at the level of the platelets. You're going to treat it at the behind level, the, de the upstream level, which is going to be the digestive system first and foremost. Also the blood sugar system is I'd be working with as well. But it's got to be something going on in the digestive system that will make a big difference. It's fast for a couple of days. Do a, um, a, a water fast for two or three days or a swear of cleanse. Okay. When you, start okay. eating, when you start eating again, look for problem foods that make you feel uncomfortable. I guarantee you're going to find them there. Then start using probiotics, good bacteria. Uh, make sure that you're uh, stable, keeping your blood sugar as stable as possible. Get on the Healthy Start Pack. Use, eat more protein, or, but as long as you can handle the protein. Things like bone soup, uh, a liquid protein, I should say. Soups and, and smoothies and that kind of thing. Okay. And uh, if... Let's think if there's anything else I could think of. You're not drinking alcohol, are you? No. Okay. No alcohol, so, yeah. no smoking. There, there you go. You got to look for a problem, either a, some other problem, but specifically in the digestive system, but any other problems, and work on those other problems. You're not going to be able to stick more platelets in your blood, but what you could do is you could reduce the cause of the destruction of the platelets, and you could help your body make more platelets. You're either not making enough or you're destroying them, and that is a metabolic problem. That's a chemistry problem that you have control over. But you not you don't have a control over it at the level of the platelets, but you have a control over it over the level of what is the bad stuff that's getting into your body and what is the good stuff that isn't. That's really how simple okay. it is, folks. Bad stuff in is getting in, good stuff isn't, and you just got to reverse that. All right. I don't see. don't get to, don't get too 
uh, don't fall into the trap of trying to treat the symptom of the problem as if it were the problem. The platelet, the low, to, yeah. the low platelet, platelet, platelet count is a symptom of the problem. And we know this because people who are, women who are pregnant uh, can cause uh, a low level of platelets. Pregnancy can cause it. And uh, uh, it'll improve after pregnancy. Uh, severe bacterial infections can cause a destruction of the platelets. Immune problems can cause destruction of the platelets. There's various stresses on the body, uh, kidney problems, various stresses on the body can cause destruction of the platelets, spleen, pro spleen problems. So you want to you wanna look at it as some kind of burden, some kind of stressor that's getting into the system. And, and you'll have to find them. For the most part, it's going to be digestive, and you'll have to find that. Jose, I got, okay. I'm going to get one more call in, my friend. Thank you so much. appreciate your call. All right, Stephen, okay, you get the... Th thank you so much. Thank you. God bless you, sir. All right, Stephen in Pennsylvania, you get the last word. What's up, Stephen? Yes, uh, Ben. Uh, I was wondering about... Uh, I've got a couple things. I've got a couple notes here. I was wondering about... Uh, let me just tell you what I was wanted to touch on, and you could uh, comment on them. Uh, uh, cytokines in the skin and how they relate to the cytokine storm that kills people with the Same idea. Uh, flu. Same and, idea. Uh, and Same idea. Same idea. The same idea. Cytokines are found throughout the body. They mobilize chemistry. They mobilize cells. They're announcements. They say, hey, get moving. We got a problem here. So They're it's, like a chemical, a, it's like a hormone. Not, it's kind of like a very similar to a hormone. In fact, it is a pseudo-hormone. Hormones tend to be, tend to be fat-soluble. These are water-soluble, and hormones uh, and uh, they're proteins. They're peptides, cytokines are. Uh, but they're very similar. Same idea. Mm -hmm. uh, they mobilize chemistry. They mobilize chemistry. They yell, hey, we got a problem here. A cytokine storm, is caused, or cytokine storm from a flu is caused by some kind of infection that really freaks out the cytokines and says, hey, we got a big problem here, and, and mobilizes all kinds kinds of chemistry, initiates all kinds of biochemistry of the immune system, and uh, thus the term cytokine storm, and it can cause some serious okay, that, problems. That, that answers that question. Now, what about the, the uh, uh, pen, you said like the outside of the skin, people put stuff on their skin, and it really doesn't work. What you need to, what happens if you put something on the outside of the skin, it actually works, but it doesn't penetrate enough. Is it, what's the key to have a penetrant, like a, something yeah. like a DMSO, or yeah, something to get it exactly. to the lower well, you don't need it. Exactly. You don't need anything as dramatic as DMSO. DMSO will get into the blood. But you can use things like uh, uh, oil, lipophilic substances, fatty substances. In plants, there are, el there are molecules called terpenes, which are very active, uh, which are very active penetrants. Glycols, like propylene glycol, is a, is a penetrant. Um, I personally like something called squalane as a penetrant. I, in fact, that's one of the things we study in pharmacy school is how to increase penetration of active material through the skin called transdermal penetration. And yes, uh, you can use things like, I would, you don't necessarily need something as strong as DMSO, uh, but, but, I, but there are ingredients you can do that enhance penetration. In fact, in my truth your, products, I've got an uh, ingredient I call my transdermal delivery matrix that does that. Hey, I got to go, Steve. I got about 50. On your yeah. next show, can you touch base about like a meat and fat diet? What natural products can you eat to dissolve and process everything so you can eat meat and fat? You got to call back, man. We're just out of time. That's the very... Aging is one thing.